Yo, what is going on guys? For today's video, we're going to be creating this music visualizer. And this is just like this D Savage album cover that I saw. It's called We Love D Savage. And I'm a big fan of that like heavy texturized as well as that threshold effect that they want for for that album cover. Here in After Effects, you're going to want to import an image. It can be like any image. It doesn't have to be Travis Scott. And to get started, we're going to go over the composition settings real quick. So I'll have mine at a 1920 by 1080. It's going to be 24 frames per second. And for the duration, we're going to have it at five seconds. Once you download your image and import it here into After Effects, what we're going to do is just focus on our subject here, grab the pen tool, and then I'm going to mask out my subject. Okay, so I just masked out my subject. We're only going to be focusing on our mask subject, and then we're going to add a bunch of effects onto our layer, and then we're going to create a little background. I'm going to open up the mask, and I'm only going to focus on the outer part of our mask. I'm just going to increase the feather to like three, and then decrease the mask expansion to negative one, because I want the edges of our subject to feel a little smoother. Then we're going to grab this layer, right click it, and pre-compose that layer. Select this option right here, move all attributes into the new composition, and I'll just name that to Travis. Click OK. With this pre-composed layer, we're going to duplicate it, click Ctrl D, and then we're going to add a bunch of effects to both of these layers in order to create that threshold look. So the first effect we're going to add is threshold and add it to the top layer. I'm going to decrease the level of this threshold and I'll have mine at around like 85. You don't want to have it like too high because it's going to be too dark. And then if you have it too light or too low, it's going to be way too light. So I'm going to have mine at 85. And then the next effect we're going to add is a noise. Make sure to bring that noise above the threshold effect. I'm going to increase the amount of noise to 20%. And then for the next effect, we're going to add a Gaussian blur. Increase the blurriness to 1.5. And by adding this blur, it just makes it look a little better. Now for the bottom layer, we're going to add a fill. Change the color of this fill to white because we're going to be using this bottom layer in order to create that outline of our subject. And then the next effect we're going to add is a simple choker. This simple choker is going to be the effect that adds the stroke of our subject. Decrease the choke mat to negative three. And as you guys can see, that adds the stroke of our subject. The next thing we're going to do is grab these two layers and pre-compose them. I'll just name this to Travis. First begin by creating a white background. So create a new solid. Make sure that the color of that solid is white. Bring that solid right underneath our layer and I'm going to rename that to BG, which stands for background. We're going to now create that mini box just like the one in that D Savage album cover with the texturized look. Create a new shape layer. And for this shape layer, you wanna make sure to turn off the stroke. For the fill color, I'm going to have that black. And then we're going to create a box. Hold the shift button on your keyboard, left click and just drag your mouse. I'll have the box like that. Might have to increase it a little. I'll increase that to around like 861. And then bring that underneath our subject. And as you guys can see, our subject is a little too small. Click S in order to open up the scale. And I'll increase the scale to around like 128%, just so that it doesn't show the bottom edge of our subject. And it also overlaps the box a little. You wanna make sure that your subject top part of the head is overlapping this black square in the background. For the shape layer, I'm just going to rename that to black box. We're going to add a roughen edges to the shape layer. With this effect, it adds that texturized look to the edges. Decrease the scale to 10 and then increase the edge sharpness to around, I would say like, I'll increase that to five. And by doing that, it creates more of like those roughen edges, kind of like texturized look that we're going for. Next thing we're going to do is create that texture for this black box. Turn off this layer for now. Click the black box and then duplicate it. For this layer, I'll rename that to texture. Delete the roughen edges effect for this layer and we're going to change the color of the fill to white. In order to get that texturized look, we're going to add a turbulent displace. Change the displacement to turbulent smoother and increase the amount to 1500. I have that at 1586. Decrease the size to 80. In our case, I do want the texture to be animated. So we're going to keyframe the evolution and then go all the way towards the end. I want the evolution to happen in a cycle of two times. So keyframe that at two, bring that keyframe towards the end, grab both of those keyframes, easy, easy them. And now we have an animated textured box. I also want this textured box to be right at the center of our composition. Open up the position and then just drag it up so that our box is like right at the center. We're going to now animate everything just to add more movement to this music visualizer. Create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, we're going to add a transform. We're going to be creating that zoom out animation. So I'm going to increase the 
skill and just have it a lot closer to our subject i'll increase that right there and then keyframe the position in a way so that it starts off right at the center of our subject's face you can turn on the proportional grid just so that we have subject right at the center and then keyframe both the position and the scale go forward 24 frames and keyframe the position back to its original position and have the scale back to 100 make sure to turn on the motion blur and then easy ease all four of these keyframes go into the graph editor of these position keyframes i'm going to have the influence on the right side at 100 percent go into the scale keyframes and then create the same exact graph so it animates fast at the start and slows down towards the end the animation feels a lot smoother the next thing we're going to do is add a fractal noise change the blending mode to overlay increase the contrast to 165 and then decrease the brightness to negative 40. as you guys can see it just adds a little more texture to our visualizer we're also going to keyframe the evolution at zero at the start and then go all the way towards the end of this adjustment layer. And I want the evolution to happen in a cycle of, I would say like six times. Bring that keyframe towards the end, easy ease both of those keyframes. Now, when we play this through, this is what we have so far. And I don't like how the noise is animating. So I'm gonna grab my subject, right click it, and then go to time, click freeze frame. Now, every time this plays, the noise isn't animating. The next thing we're going to do is add another scale keyframe for this transform effect. Go all the way towards the end. I'm going to increase the scale, create a really slow zoom in effect. I'll have that at 120. Bring that keyframe towards the end. Now, as this animation is playing, we have a really slow zoom in. We're also going to be animating the background as well. Create a new null object. Grab these two layers, the texture and the black box. Click the parent pick whip and then connect it to that null object. Keyframe the scale and have it a lot bigger at the start. I'll have that at 301%. Keyframe that. I want the animation to feel a lot smoother. So I'm going to go forward 34 frames. Keyframe the scale back to 100%. Easy ease both of those keyframes. Go into the graph editor. And we're going to create the same graph where we have the influence at 100%. Turn on the motion blur for both the texture as well as the black box. This is what we have for the animation so far. To make it look even smoother, we're going to grab all these layers and just click U to reveal the keyframes. Grab all these layers and just drag it forward a little. And I'm going to grab these first five keyframes and just drag it back three frames just so that as this music visualizer is playing, the animation's already starting. And it just feels a lot more smooth and makes it look better. And then we're going to just grab all these layers, bring it back to the start of the timeline. Next thing we're going to do is create a new adjustment layer, add the wiggle position effect, decrease the wiggle amount to 20 because we added this wiggle effect it creates transparency at the edge of our composition so we're going to add a motion tile make sure the motion tile is above the wiggle position effect increase the output height and the width to 200 click mirror edges and the final thing we're going to do is add a particle overlay I already have this overlay imported into After Effects. I'll include a link to this particle overlay in the description. It's completely free, so once you download it, just import it here into After Effects and then drag it into the composition. Turn off the sound and then change the blending mode by clicking this toggle switches and modes. Change the blending mode to screen. We're going to add a tint to this particle. This is what we have for our animation. And to make this look even better, I'm going to add one more effect to this adjustment layer. I'm going to add a uni heat wave, decrease the heat intensity to seven, and I'm also going to decrease the blur amount to seven. This is what we have for our final music visualizer. We used that The Savage album cover as reference and then created the effect, then animated it, and then created this music visualizer. That is all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.